All right, welcome, welcome to the School of Athens News, where it's all good all the time. Hey, today is episode 17. It's, uh, we're getting back to the great big bang explosion of the beginning of the universe. I remember last time we created a model, uh, which is what we do in science, uh, because create, recreating the big bang is on that actual scale is probably pretty big. It starts off with a tiny thing, but it multiplies so fast, it was so powerful, but that's what energy does. But we created a model using milk, liquid soap, and food coloring. And what I asked you to do was come up, uh, generate a hypothesis, and then be able to test it too. So the hypothesis is why you think the food coloring exploded the way it did in the milk. What you know, Vas Vizic, uh, Einstein, remember he wasn't born brilliant, but he had a hunger to uh, satisfy his curiosity. He wanted to know why. And so he started with, what do I know? Or in German, was wie sich? What do I know? And actually, I think that's what do you know? Was ich weiß? What do I know? Uh, so what you know is, and what you saw, Kivero, uh, da Vinci, was not allowed to go to school when he was growing up because his parents weren't married, and back then that was a no-no. Ridiculous, but we still have a lot of ridiculous beliefs. Um, not, not as many, but we still have them. But don't limit yourself. Don't have any beliefs that limit you and make you feel like you can't do something. Get rid of those. So uh, what you see, Kivero, uh, what, what do I see, is uh, you, that you saw me, you put, that I put a Q-tip, actually let me go do it, let me do it right here, um, hook it, and remember all you need are a few supplies, all you need is liquid soap, whole milk works best, and that's a key whole milk uh, food coloring dye, and... Uh, Q-tips. You need two Q-tips. One for the experiment and one to clean your ears because I'm sure you probably have not done that. You know what I'm going to do? Try to set it up this way. Here we go. Okay, here we go. So you pour milk, just enough to cover the plate. Alright. And then you put in a few drops of the different colors and these are going to represent the explosion that's it what's really happening is you thought maybe your hypothesis was well I think the color or the soap is chasing the color it's reacting with the color because that's what you see but you also see that the world looks flat so sometimes what we observe, we have to go a little deeper than just what we see. The earth is not flat or else we wouldn't have shadows. That's why we know it's rotating. So you put the colors in there. You add a little bit of soap. You stick your Q-tip in there. Not too much. And then, oh, look at that. It's reacting. Get a little more on there. Oh, we forgot the yellow. Oh, the yellow's not reacting. This is a little different. Uh, to be quite honest with you, the milk's a little older, but I kept it. I haven't been drinking it, but I kept it for this experiment. So obviously when the milk gets a little older, there's not as many fat molecules. The, the soap, the liquid soap is chasing, is trying to bond with the fat molecules. That's why whole milk was a key versus fat free wouldn't work as well. Why? Because it's free of, what do you hear, Da Vinci? You hear that it's free of fat. So that's all that was. Um, we're on our way out. I love you guys all. For my mom and I, have the best day ever. Keep thinking big. Keep generating and testing hypotheses. I'm trying to get Aristotle back there because I think he's great. Uh, develop happy habits, happy Aristotelian habits, which is think big, believe in yourself, and for my mom and I, dream big, do big, be big. Have the best day ever. Find the hero in you. Peace.